Welcome to Film Tower, guys. Today, we're counting down some of the most insane moments caught on the super popular show, Storage Wars. This show is known for the storage units and its interesting deals. These items in the storage units may either be super precious or weird. Their value can be worth a fortune and are interesting to watch as well. We will be showing you some of the amazing deals, so let's get started with the video without any further delay. But before that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Number 10. Barry found one of the most unique items in the history of Storage Wars. It was a device created back in the 20th century to watch films by cranking it. The images were made to spin around just like a flipbook. This one earned a peep show title back in those days. This was because of it being used to watch dirty movies back then. Number 9, Daryl Sheets, who is known to be the gambler to show, hit the jackpot when he bought a storage unit filled with accessories of a comic book store. From comic books to action figures, everything there was was in mint condition. His gamble paid off at last, as the items were enormous in number. This is one of the most insane deals made by Daryl on the show. Number 8, newspaper clippings have experienced a decrement in their value because of people who switched from newspaper to e-news. However, the clippings that hold historical information are other things as it is highly valuable. This is one of the cases in the show where Dave Hester found a huge number of newspaper clippings from the day Elvis died. According to experts, it was estimated to be worth around $90,000. Number 7. In the ninth season, the team decided to head over to Lancaster for bidding. Ivy took a storage unit, who won it, in a small bidding war with Dave. This locker contained some useless items but was also filled with an old army container along with a helmet and mysterious item. This item turned out to be a minesweeper from the Second World War. The featured item was estimated to be worth around $4,500. Number 6. The vintage architecture tool made Daryl to be removed from the title of the gambler of the show. This was because of him playing safe. The item was from the 1930s and helped him to make a profit close to $1,600. Rather than playing big, he went to go for a safe play, which was shocking to watch. Number 5. There was a wooden head that was found by Barry Weiss in a storage unit. He discovered that the head was a large wooden one along with real glass eyes and real dentures. There was a small window pane on the back side. This was a piece of art made by Mike Meadow and was estimated to be valued about $6,000. Number 4. Many people have suffered fluctuations in their luck over the years. However, this was the case where the fluctuation happened in an interval of minutes. In 2011, a bidder took over a storage unit for just $400. He soon found that there was a pile of cash present inside worth $24,000. But the faces were cut from the cash, which made him shake. However, everything ended well for him, as he found that the cash was considered to be legit until the serial numbers were intact. Number 3. Another insane moment happened when Brandy Passante purchased a storage unit for just $900. She soon found that the unit contained tools worth around $200 along with some creepy stuff. These were considered to be voodoo stuff that included a deer skull, human hair, bones, statues, and several other items related to the animal. She earned a decent profit with these items. Number 2. Dave Hester is known for his comedy acts. This was the case where he got a breast enlargement machine from a storage unit. He went to creep out the doctors as he planned to use it for entertainment purposes, as it was not worth much. Number 1. Kenny went for a storage unit that contained clown accessories that were insanely creepy to look at. This incident was also one of the weirdest ones that happened to Kenny. He didn't decide to give it to a professional clown. So, that's it from us guys. Be sure to like and share this video with your friends. If you love this show as well, tell us about your favorite one these down in the comments section. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.